Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Better Place founder and chief executive officer, Shai Agassi. We're getting to the new future, the future of cars that go on something other than gasoline, other than oil. You've just seen the announcements by uh, Carlos Ghosn, CEO of Renault, uh, of a lineup of four electric cars that are coming into the market in 2011 and 2012. Better Place worked closely with Renault, hand in hand, to provide the infrastructure that makes these cars, in particular the L38E, the, the fluence, electric fluence, a more convenient and a more affordable option than any gasoline car in the markets in which we will introduce those, uh, those cars in the market. Come 2011, our networks will be deployed in Israel, in Denmark, and in the months after that in Australia, in other countries around the world. The network will consist of charging locations and battery switching across the country. That network allowed us to place an order of 100,000 cars with Renault. It's the first mega deal for electric cars in history. There has not been a car since the Ford Model T that has been sold at 100,000 volume, driving on anything other than gasoline. That's why this network, with a combination of our model, is becoming a new set, a new beginning, for this market. With our ability to bring these cars to market, we're seeing demand show up in the markets we're introducing. We've announced in Israel already more than 50 vision partners that have signed deals to bring these cars into their fleets, to their employees, accounting for more than 35,000 cars in their fleets. That kind of business development, that kind of demand is manifesting itself in Denmark in Australia, in all the locations we're coming in. People want cars that are cheaper, that are more convenient, that do not consume gasoline, and do not pollute the environment. With that, Better Place is becoming the first operator that actually is able to scale infrastructure and operation of electric vehicles anywhere around the world. To demonstrate scale, this charge spot has now been selected to go to our first supplier around the world. We've selected Flextronics, the maker of devices. Many of you have the iPods, iPhones, iMacs around the world. And we've placed an order with Flextronics, again, for 100,000 charge spots to be installed in Israel and in Denmark in the years 2010 and 2011. Those networks will be in the ground, ready for the first cars as they come into the market. Around this solution, not only do you need charging, not only do you need switching, you also need the abilities of software to integrate the cars, the drivers, with energy, and the home and the office. This smart software, our project codename AUTOS, Car Operating System, will be demonstrated around the booth. You're able to see some of this innovation. It is the first time anybody has put a full computer, a full Intel Atom platform, and the full .NET platform, Microsoft.NET platform, in a car. In effect, being the smartest computer sitting in the car in a mass-produced car in the market. That software allows us to design, route you, enable your energy, schedule you, so that not only we can put cars on the road, but also do not bring down the grid as these cars come into the office at 8 o'clock in the morning and into the home at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That kind of capability of integrating the car all the way to the grid is unique to Better Place and is already in place so that we can put them into the cars that you've seen from Renault, our first partner. As you can see, we're creating an ecosystem of a complete solution from cars from Renault, batteries from Nissan, software from Microsoft and ourselves, platforms from Intel, charge spots from Flextronics, and a computer that is homologated and supported by Continental, our partners for the insides of our systems that come into the cars. All these players in the ecosystems combine to create a complete solution that will be cheaper and more convenient for the consumer in 2011 in Israel, in Denmark, and in the other countries. To wrap it all together, I want to put you for a second into a very interesting perspective on our road and on the global road. We've announced this, launched this company in late 2007. In 2008, 
We've announced that Israel will be the first country that will come on board. We've announced back then a four-year journey from beginning of 2008 till the end of 2011, a four-year marathon which has 500 engineers in our company and 2,000 engineers at Renault and Nissan working together to create the first complete end-to-end -end electric mobility solution for the world. We are now at the midpoint, at the half point of our solution. And what you see in front of you today at Frankfurt is every single component being able to be produced in scale and volume. Car, battery, charging, network, software, everything is at the component level today. Switching was demonstrated today. Everything is ready at component level. Throughout the next year, we will demonstrate the solution and test it in the ground in Israel and in Denmark, in Tokyo, in other locations, as we test component by component of the system. By the end of 2010, there will be a deployed network in Israel that can actually run consumers on the streets and test the complete solution, first system test across an entire country. By the end of 2011, when we come here together again in the next Frankfurt Motor Show, this system will be deployed and consumers will be running in Israel. It will not be a vision as it was in 2007. It will be a reality in the ground and deployed. I heard the announcements and the announcements projection of 10% of the market by 2020. We actually believe that the tipping of the market will happen much, much faster than projected before. And it is our belief that by 2020, at least in the countries where better places deployed, more than 50% of new cars will be electric with switchable batteries introduced on that year. In other words, markets will tip, as we've seen in other markets, in a span of about 10 years of a new product, new technology introduction of this magnitude, of this importance. Now, today is a historic day, and I want to wrap with that. The last time the market has switched from one energy source to another in the car industry happened in 1908. The Ford Model T was introduced. Up until that point, if you looked at the streets in New York, there was about an equal number of cars going on batteries, by the way, with switchable batteries, and on gasoline. Ford Model T came in in 1908 and reduced the price, provided a more affordable, more convenient car that just happened to go on gasoline. Thus started the oil era. For 101 years, every mass-produced car introduced in the world used the same source of energy, gasoline. Today you saw the first four cars mass-produced with an order from Better Place, with an infrastructure that mass deploys a car that doesn't go on oil. And if you'll look back at history, today was the beginning of the electric era and potentially the end of the oil era. We believe that makes the world a better place, and we hope you take that message with you to your countries, and we hope to be in your countries within the same time frame as we do in Israel, in Denmark, in Australia, in the U.S., and in the rest of the world. Thank you all very much.